So now we are in 8.8. .8. We'll review chapter seven and maybe later we'll buy as a review. We are going back to chapter two. I don't know, but here we are. We start to our objects today is what improper integral. So first part of improper integral is what, for example, solving e to power minus x over two from zero to infinite, like that. We are going to solve that example. From zero to infinite, e to power dx. Yes. So how we solve that one? Without without any uh, any hesitate, just change this infinite. It's the first type. We need we say that we have two types of improper. That one was infinities, that one is vertical asymptote. So this is the first type. So I say is i equal to. First of all, change this one to easy one. Forget about infinite. Make a limit to change the improper integral to the normal integral, okay? To proper integral. So how we solve that one? For example, you are not good at a limit and you didn't, you don't try to review it. So at least solve the integral, then later left the, Last step. So how we solve that one? Uh -huh. Forget about that one. How I solve that one? I say derivative of here is equal to minus one over two. Am I right? So we need minus two here. So minus two from zero to a e to power minus x over one over. So now we have hat d hat. So how we solve? We say is equal to a across to infinity minus two. We have itself you will get itself. Okay, because I have hat d hat. And we say is equal to so e to power minus a over two minus e to power minus zero over two. Am I right? Upper lower limit, upper limit, upper boundary limit, lower boundary limit. So x up a approach to infinite, let that minus two be here. So tell me about e to power zero equal to e to power zero equal to one. So here we are. Okay, now nothing remains. Integral solved, boundary substitute, nothing remains, right? If you have proper integral, this is the last step. But now I have improper, so I have this limit. So I say is equal to what? Limit of here and limit of here. So limit of e to power minus a over two, when a approach to infinite, minus is equal to plus two limit of e to power a uh, sorry a approaching you know the limit of constant it's constant right so how we deal with that one limit of e to power minus infinity over two uh-huh i substitute and we see that Two to power minus infinity is equal to what? Zero. Do you remember that? So now I have zero plus two is equal to two. You can see from here, we didn't do anything. We just separate, make it two different things. The first, we change the boundary to the limit. That's the first. We change the lim in limit, uh, the infinity to words like A, B, any one that you like. Then we solve the, the integral. And the last step, we substitute. 
And the limit idea, you need all limit idea that we reviewed here. Amu idea and vascular. So another example, you can see from type A, type B, type C, and the type A, we have one, two, three cases. Now I am going to solve from one to infinite. Look at the example kindly and try to solve from one to infinite, okay. Lin of x, uh huh, over x squared dx. So, how we solve that one? First of all, when you saw that boundary, you know it's an improper integral. So, how we solve it? We say limit a approach to infinity from one to a lin of x, x squared dx. Understood? And I think that one was your quiz question, right? I don't know, maybe this group or the other group. It was a question of the other group. So, yeah, uh -huh. you can see. Or it's your homework, or it's enclosed in your textbook. You can see. So how we solve that? How we solve it? I say, let you, uh -huh. I'm going to solve this, this one. I say, let then of x, x squared dx. I say by u dv, how let u be ln of x, du of course will be one over x, dv one x squared, v equal to minus one over x. How, I don't know, check it. Use u dv. Now the value, the limit will be a, Approach to infinite. Sorry, I'm not in a hurry. Let me finish that one. So I say the integral will be uv minus v du. Was equal to Later, repeat the video, you'll see. Was equal to one over x squared. And I know that integral is easy. Equal to minus than x over x minus one over x. That integral is easy. So here we are. We solve the integral by what? U dv. Now, my integral from one to infinite, ln of x, x squared dx is changed to what? Change to limit of a approach to infinity minus ln of x over x minus one over x. From what? From one to a. Do you have any comment? Hello, this is the first or the second example. You need to concentrate. You need to ask if you don't understand. You get the idea? So look. I change that one to that one. And I solve that one. How? By the 8.1. We solve and we get that one. Then I'm going to repeat or put this value here. That's all that we did. Now it's time to what? To the last step, uh huh? By 8.1 we solve it, not 8.8. .8. .8. Now here is 8.8. .8. Now in the last step. So I'm going to substitute, I'll get what? Ln of a over a minus one over a, a minus, minus ln of one over one minus one over one. I just substitute the boundary upper minus Lower, look at here, the limit A approach to infinity. That one remains itself the same. Okay, minus ln of one, ln of one, zero. So zero over one, zero. Now it remains minus one in the second part.
Do you have any question? And you know, minus multiply minus is equal to one. So it remains limit A approach to infinity minus ln of A over A minus ln over A plus one. Eh. Now it's limit time. Maybe you don't know that one. So, okay, I say, okay. So I will get what? First is equal to itself. Second, it will be one over infinity, zero. Tell me about the third one or the first one. Yalla. Is equal to what? One over A, A is approach to infinity. So I'll get infinity over infinity. Hello? Okay. So infinity over infinity, how we solve is here. Yeah, as as yellow orbital. So I'll get one over A over one. So if I put infinity here, I will get zero minus zero plus one, and that is all you want. So here's the solution. Here's the answer. You need to do all these steps one by one. In your lecture notes, call that one as B. So okay. Understood. Okay. Does not make a sense, does not make a change. Yalla. Last example. How you saw that example? Our last example of type I, because we have two types, I and double I. So how we saw that one? Look at here, huh? This is the new for you, minus infinity over infinity. One over one plus X squared, am I right? Yes, or DX over one over. So I saw that. I'm going to change like that. We will make two parts, A, okay? Or you can call, uh, yes, A. Make the box plus box two. The box is not box D box, something else. So DX one plus X square, DX one plus X square. Because we cannot solve together. We don't have a double limits here, A and B, no, no. We are going to solve that one by first and that one by another one. Understood? So the result will be what? Let me see, G1, G2, not I, double I. G1 or integral one, int one, int two, okay? So integral number one, how we solve integral number one? I'm going to leave the box till the end, okay? I'm going to leave the box. Uh, because we should choose some number, even in your book, in your book substitute zero. You change on any constant, yeah. But, okay, let me zero. Later I'll tell you why. So limit of A approach to minus infinity, okay? It will change to A to zero, A to zero, dx plus x squared. So how we solve the integral? Tan inverse. So we'll, we say is equal to A minus infinite tan inverse okay, of x from a to zero. Now, I say limit a approach to minus infinity, tan inverse zero minus tan inverse a. Do you have any question? Hello? Do you have any question here? No, it's eight point, not a, it's a, the previous call one. So now it's time to answer. Tan of in, tan inverse of zero is equal to. How do you know? 
without calculating. Yeah, you can you can see that one. So or from the from the image of tan inverse. Do you remember that graph? Pi over two minus pi over two. Uh -huh. We have a tan is like that. When you reverse, we got the inverse. This one is what graph of tan inverse, y equal to tan inverse of here. For getting the zero, you can you can use two ideas. The first, the graph. Uh -huh. Over x, if I get zero, the value over y is again zero. Or you can say tan of zero equal to zero. So take a tan inverse to both sides, you'll get zero equal to tan inverse of zero. Am I right? So in that case, you can also answer. Up to you. So here we are. We need this graph. That's why I sketched actually. So I will get what? Limit a, a approach to minus infinity, okay, for zero minus tan inverse of a. Am I right, Jamaat? Guys, we have a here. Basha, it remains what? Tan inverse of a, a approach to minus infinity, Alirisha minus one command here, okay. So tell me about the limit of tan inverse when approached to minus infinity. Yes, you are right. Uh -huh. We are going to minus infinity. So the graph is going to here, to here. Here's what? Minus pi over two. So I will get minus one, minus pi over two, and I'll get what? Pi over two. You got it? Okay, I'm going to the second part of the integral in two. It was what? It was from box to infinite dx over one plus tan, uh, x squared. Again, how you solve that one? I say equal to Did that on b across, and we change that one to zero. So b to infinite from zero to infinite one plus x squared, sorry. And I know the result will be b to infinite tan inverse of x from zero to b. And it will be what? Limit a b across to infinite tan inverse b tan inverse zero, right? And I know it remains what? B approach to infinite, tan inverse B. Yalla, how about that limit? Is equal to what? Pi over two, thank you. Why pi over two? Look at the graph. Yes, we are going to infinite and the graph is going to where? The graph is going to here. Here's what? Pi over two over y. So that's why we say the result is equal to pi over two. And you know the integral is equal to how we say from here to zero plus from zero to infinite, right? So it will be what? Pi over two plus pi over two, the result in the previous pi over two, that one pi over two, and I'll get pi. So this is the second, you can see, we change it to that one and to that one. Just be with me kindly. And we take a limit for both sides, and here's the result, and we go the pi over two. Again, even to the second part, from zero to infinite, and he solved that like that. And here we are, and tan inverse again, and pi over two. Then by pi over two, we'll get that result. Do you have any question about how you solved that one? 
Any question? Good. So this example is hundred percent copy pasted in chapter ten. I think section three. We use that idea here. I'm going to clarify for you here. In there, we don't mention it. Just I say by the one of one P. When I say one XP or this example is called XP. We call it as XP. And the example is very, very general. You can see it's a very general. P, P is like that, P like that. Actually, you cannot get it. Okay, you cannot get it. So I'm going to separated make it an example for you three example easy example for you and you understand that general idea we have what we have one to infinite xp dx look at here okay xp dx so how we solve that one? i'm going to change the xp to three examples P greater than one, P equal to one, P less than one, and there is two. And here in the chapter 10, we have like that, and P, and we called P series. Then in there, I am not going to mention it again for you. I say, go to XP and you remember, maybe you remember. So what do you mean by P greater than one? Give me an example, better than speaking, right? So here we are from one to infinite x square. If this is like xp, right? X p. P is what here? P is equal to two. The method that I am going to solve this example is true for 1.1, 1 1.1, 1 .1, 2, itself 2, 10. All of them, all these, that's why we say P greater than one. All of these idea can be solved like that. Understood? So for example, if in during your quiz or your exam, I gave you something like that. So use the same idea that I'm going to solve with X squared. Understood? The same idea. Okay. So here we are. How we solve? Look. I say is equal to, it's easy, yalla, help me, yalla di, uh -huh. first step, change to the limit, right, yalla, solve the integral, yalla, solve the integral, right, Understood. It's equal to right, and you'll get what right, and it's equal to what easy. So if P greater than one, uh -huh. P common equal to two, is converge, called converge. Converge means that has a result. Okay, we got the result. Our integral from one to infinite, got the result, so we called converge. Understood, Jamaat? So in the other, also the other examples, uh -huh, here we got the result. When we got the result, we say converge. So here we are, we say converge. Okay, now I'm going to the second case, PB1. What do you mean by PB1? I mean by x, p, dx, be from one to infinite x, right? P is one. So how we solve that one? I see is equal to limit. A approach to infinity from one to a dx. How we solve the limit? Yalla. Equal to what? D, D.
You must be kidding. Okay, so I'll get what? Am I right? And then of one equal to zero. And that integral is equal to, sorry, that limit is equal to limit of A, A approach to infinity equal to, if I graph, Was going to air. So we called diverse because you don't get the number, right? We got an infinite. Okay. So this is the second case. I am going to the third case. P less than one. Like what? Am I right? Or square root of two, x. So how we solve that one? Again, a infinite, one a, x to power minus one over two, two. So when I say p less than one, it's also true for 0 0.05. You got it, the same idea was used here. Okay, now, as equal to a jamaat, you are good at integral. Yalla. Am I right? And I'll get what? Understood. Hello? Good. And it's equal to what? Why? Well, it's equal to then equal to what? Equal to sorry. One over two. X one over two is equal to here. Yes, we substituted. So I'll get two infinity, infinite minus two, and I'll get infinite. Right? And we called diverse bata is not going to anywhere. We don't know. So look at here, these cases, you, it's your time to tell me. XP, tell me about XP. If P greater than one, P less than one, P, P equal to one. In that case, we called what? Converge. How about that one? How about that one? So use these three idea for all of the other example. For example, if I have, now I'm just asking you, not solving for you. Yalla, it's convert or divert? Why? Less than P equal to four over five, less than one, right? How about that example? Yes, you need to, but the same method. Like that one, like a square, this one, the solution is like the square root of X, the same. Understood? Good. How about that one? Converge. Good. So here we are. Uh, Oh, 
then we didn't share the screen. So it means that we didn't record it. <laughs>